hello children today we are going to discuss the question and answers of heat temperature and climate first of all improve your learning fill in the blanks doctors uses dash thermometer to measure the human body temperature doctor uses clinical thermometer to measure the human body temperature the best liquid for thermometer is alcohol because of it expands very well with the heat the force applied by air on any surface in contact is called air pressure what we call air pressure the average weather pattern taken over a long time is called the dash of place climate okay the amount of water vapor present in the air is called humidity humidity okay children <laughs> next second one choose the correct answer first question a student observed day to day conditions of the atmosphere on three consecutive days and recorded his observation she wants to show the data using a graph which graph is suitable for her a climate graph b weather graph c temperature graph d humidity graph the answer is b weather graph okay second question conduction of heat takes place in a metals b liquids c gases d air the answer is metal because of metals all are very good conductors that's why answer we wrote as a third one average human body temperature is 0 degree centigrade b 20 degree celsius c 37 degree centigrade d 100 degree centigrade the answer is c 37 degree number of divisions in fahrenheit scale a 180 degrees b 100 c 50 d 200 the answer is a 180 match the following a melting point of ice b precipitate c air pressure d boiling point of water e metal used in thermometer This side, one mercury, two barometer, three hundred degree centigrade, four zero degree centigrade, rain gauge, six alcohol. Okay, melting point of ice is zero degree centigrade. That's why we wrote here four. Precipitate. Precipitate means how can we measure precipitate with the help of rain gauge? So five. air pressure air pressure how can we measure barometer so 2 boiling point of water boiling point of water is 100 degrees that's why 3 metal used in thermometer yes okay we write mercury mercury is the metal alcohol is not metal alcohol also using in thermometers question and answers what are the similarities and differences between the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer similarities both have a bulb containing mercury at one end both use the celsius scale both have a long narrow glass tube these are the similarities between laboratory thermometer and clinical thermometer differences 
A clinical thermometer reads temperature 35 degree centigrade to 45 degree centigrade. While the range of laboratory thermometer is minus 10 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade. The clinical thermometer has a kink while there is a no kink in the laboratory thermometer. These are the differences between laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer. Draw the diagram of a clinical thermometer and label its parts. Draw the thermometer and label the parts of the thermometer. Third question. Give two examples for conductors and insulators each. Give two examples for conductors and insulators each. Examples for conductors, steel and copper. Examples for insulator, wooden, plastic. Fourth question. Buchana thinks that the concepts weather and climate are the same. Do you agree with him? Justify your answer. Fourth question answer. I don't agree with him. The day-to-day -day variations in the components like temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed are called weather. It gives the information about atoms, ferric conditions in specific area on time. It affects our daily life. Whereas, the average weather pattern taken over a long period, say 20 years or more, is called the climate of the place. It affects our lifestyle. Thus, different regions have different climatic conditions. Fifth question. Prepare questions for a questionnaire for farmers on climate change. How does the climate change affect the crop yielding? What is the effect of climate change on crops? Give two precautions to be taken while using a clinical thermometer. Answer. Wash the thermometer properly with antiseptic solution. Ensure that the mercury level falls below 35 degree before use. Don't hold the thermometer by the bulb while reading it. Seventh question. Define conduction. Explain the process of transfer of heat by conduction with your own examples. Conduction of heat is a process in which heat is transferred from hotter to colder and through the con conductor. Conduction takes place only when the conductor is in contact with the source of heat. It generally takes place in metals. Examples When frying vegetables in pan, conduction of heat along a metal rod being held in a flame. When Ironing a shirt, the iron is hot and the heat is transferred to the shirt. Eighth question. What are the measuring components of weather and explain about them? Answer. Temperature, air pressure, rainfall, wind speed and humidity are called measuring components of weather. Temperature. The degree of hotness or coldness is called temperature. Air pressure. The force applied by air on any surface in contact is called air pressure. The air pressure becomes more when it is compressed. Rainfall. Water vapor present in air cools on reaching higher altitude clouds are the masses of such water droplets. When these droplets became too heavy 
to float in the air they become down as precipitation it can be in the form of rain snow sleet or hail precipitation that comes down to the earth in the liquid form is called as rain wind speed the movement of air horizontally is called wind the wind moves from high pressure region to the region of low pressure the speed of wind depends upon the difference between the high and low pressure higher the difference faster the wind speed the direction of wind is known by wind vane whereas the speed of wind is measuring with anemometer then humidity water vapor present in the air is called humidity hygrometer is used to measure humidity in air and it is expressed in grams per cubic meter ninth question explain an activity to show that air exerts pressure a to show that air exerts pressure material required empty bottle a balloon procedure take an empty bottle and balloon insert the balloon into bottle and stretch the balloon over the opening of the bottle try to blow air into the balloon inside the bottle observe what happens observation it is observed that blowing air into the balloon is not easy when it is inside the bottle this is because the force applied by the air inside the bottle in conclusion from this activity we can say that air exerts pressure explain the construction and working of six maximum and minimum thermometer one six maximum minimum thermometer is one of the meteorological instruments used to measure maximum highest and minimum lowest temperature of a place in a day james six invented this thermometer in 1780 construction it has a cylindrical bulb a and bulb b connected through a u shaped tube containing mercury bulb a contains alcohol and bulb b contains alcohol and its vapors this is the six maximum and minimum thermometer working when the temperature increases the alcohol in the bulb a expands and pushes the mercury in the u tube this makes indicator n to move up this indicates the maximum temperature of the day when the temperature decreases alcohol in the bulb a contracts and pulls the mercury back this makes indicator m to move up this indicates the minimum temperature of the day after taking reading the indicators m and n are brought to their original places by using a magnet so this is the question and answers about heat temperature and climate lesson children next video we are going to discuss about lesson 10 changes around us okay children take care bye bye the previous lesson about wonders of light question and answers video i will giving in description please go through the description take care please like and share subscribe our channel to learn more things thank you